isang napakagandang araw sa ating lahat mga mushroom lovers and mushroom enthusiasts. So sa araw na ito, I'll be discussing one of the factors that affect the growth of mushroom pleurotus or oyster mushroom. Ito yung composition of substrates. Substrates used in cultivation will affect the chemical, functional, and sensorial characteristics of mushrooms. Oyster mushroom is a type of saprophyte and it extracts its nutrients from the substrate through its mycelium, obtaining substances necessary for its development, such as carbon, nitrogen, vitamins, and minerals. A mixture of agro-waste can be interesting. That's what we did in our first project. Mushroom produce extracellular enzymes that affect the increase in its nutritional value. Mushrooms degrade the substrate through enzyme production, and the first sign of mushroom growth is seen after 2-3 to three days of inoculation. The substrate has a direct influence on mineral composition because the hyphae of fungi is in contact with the compound and it withdraws its essential elements. For that, it is important to know the chemical composition of substrates before making its use in mushroom cultivation. But remember, doing chemical analysis entails money, so you have to spend a lot. To successfully grow mushrooms, make it sure that you are using the correct substrate. Good substrate for oyster mushroom is fibrous materials like lignin, cellulose, and hemicellulose. All of these materials contain a lot of carbon, which is the main food source for the growing mycelium. So if you notice, there are substrates here or footing bags wherein they are not totally ramified yet because of high moisture content. High moisture content in the substrate will result in difficult breathing for the mycelium. Here are our new fruiting bugs. And the soda substrate here um, was composed for 21 days. And these fruiting bugs are now 7 days old. If you notice, the mycelia are growing so fast. For most fungi, the wide humidity range is 20 to 70%. The appropriate humidity during the darkened spawning running and mycelia stimulation should encompass a range between 60 to 75 percent and 85 to 97 percent respectively in the environment enabling a satisfactory growth of pleurotus. High humidity is favorable for pinning and fruiting. To maintain relative humidity, water spraying is to be done in the cropping rooms during hot and dry weather conditions, daily 2-3 to three times spray are recommended, while in hot and humid conditions, one light spray will be sufficient. More discussions will be in my next videos. Thank you and God bless.